What is up, people of YouTube? This is Prolix Enigma here, and I am bringing you another best class setups of Call of Duty Ghosts. And I feel like I just made one of these not that long ago, so it's kind of annoying. I mean, I like making videos and all, but I literally feel like I just made this one. But anyway, today we're going to be covering the Honey Badger, as you see there on screen, and I can't believe I haven't done this one yet. Um, this weapon, personally, is not one of my more high-level guns. It's not one of the guns that I do the best with. Um, but let's get into it. So... On my Honey Badger, I will be running the foregrip and extended mags, and I find that a lot of people run this, and after I had set it up, I actually saw people using it, and I'm like, hey, that was a good decision. Um, anyways, but as always, I have a secondary, the P226 pistol with the muzzle break, and I run pretty much the same perks. Uh, ready up, agility, quick draw, sit rep, and focus. Gotta have that focus, man. Uh, again, you guys can alter these however you want, but I do recommend that you leave on focus and pretty much just focus. You can um, change it any any other way you want. And the kill streaks are completely customizable and having a secondary is all on you. Um, I recommend I recommend extended mags and the foregrip. Uh, I think red dot bounces around too much with this gun, so I don't like using it. But that's completely on you. Uh, you run, run whatever you want, really. Whatever you're comfortable with using, that's probably what you're better off using. Um, now I will explain to you how you should use this weapon and the best scenarios and situations that you uh, will probably find yourself. Okay guys, here we are on the map Sovereign, and I will be starting in here in a moment. I believe I was doing something at the time, but starting in on this game, I was kind of frustrated because I wasn't able to really get a gameplay with the Honey Badger. I was struggling a little bit, and then I saw Sovereign, and I'm like, ah, uh, one, I don't care for this map. Two, I don't think it's a good map for the Honey Badger, but I was like, I gotta try it. So I did, and I was not disappointed. And this is why, whenever you feel like you are using these same guns over and over and over again, and you're playing these games and you're thinking, I don't want to use it on this map. It doesn't seem like it would be a good gun. Just try it. Don't second guess yourself. Don't think that it's not usable on a particular map, because you will end up, um, you end up screwing yourself over at some point in your uh, Call of Duty career. And whatnot, uh, because you're not exploring, you're not expanding your uh, gun reaches and whatnot. So basically, the other day I was just using the MTAR and Remington, and um, those I, I was grinding out to prestige because I was really close close to prestiging. But that was my reason for doing that. Anyways, into the video. So when you're using the Honey Badger, you always want to remember that. It is a multi-purpose weapon. It has a suppressor on it for a reason. I see too many people sitting back in corners, too many people sitting back in the bases, too many people watching flags and not moving the entire game with this weapon. It's not That's not the type of weapon that this is. Um, it is a rushing weapon. In my opinion, it is a gun to rush with. Uh, if you watch this gameplay, you will see me running around a lot. Granted, I might be doing a lot of the running around on one side of the map. You will see me doing it a lot. And that is because it is primarily used for rushing, in my opinion. I can use it for being defensive, um, especially in Search and Destroy. I think it is a good weapon for Search and Destroy, as long as you're not um, you know, getting in long-range engagement firefights, which I will explain in a second. When you're, when you're about to get into a firefight with this, you want to stay close. Medium and close range are your best options, because if you take it anywhere else, you're going to get screwed over at some point. Uh, I already talked about the red dot sight being not such a good idea to use with this weapon because it bounces too much, and I'm going to stick by that, and if you watch here in a second, I'm about to go on a complete tear, um, but the red dot bounces too much. It reminds me of the AK from Modern Warfare 3, or I think it reminds me of the AK from Black Ops 1, where it always bounced around all the time, and it just wasn't real steady or reliable and whatnot. Uh, that's that's pretty much what I get when I use a red dot on this weapon. So you want to sit back. If you're if you're going to be campy with this weapon, you want to sit back in a particular area, not in one, one not in one corner. Because I swear to God, if you sit in a corner and I'm playing against you, I'm gonna be mad. Uh, but if you're if you're holding down a building, this is a good weapon to use because medium to um, short range distances are where this gun does its best at. Earlier in the gameplay, uh, you saw me hip fire at someone. It has a decent hip fire spread that I have noticed. I can hip fire with this gun and use it, unlike the Remington. 
just the other day, I accidentally hip fired with a Remington, and I the dude turned around and killed me. Like it was that bad. On top of the fact that I don't have very good aim. So basically, I'm gonna run over what you want to do with this weapon. One, you never want to get into long range firefights because the iron sights on this gun are all right, but they're not good at long range. Um, it, it has a little bit of a recoil to it, and red dot is not very good on this because it bounces. So keep it to medium to short distance. You can either use this for rushing or defending. I prefer rushing because I'm I'm a rushy person. So if you're going to use this gun, I recommend you strapping on a rushing class and trying it out that way. Uh, I mean, I'm about to fail with this Griffin here in a second. You'll see. <laughs> uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this, this uh, video up. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can use this in your classes. And uh, if you can't, well, I'm sorry. Uh, this, this gun is an interesting gun to use. I feel like it's almost overused. It's overused a lot in pubs. Uh... It's kind of annoying. The video you will see on screen at the end of this video will be my most recent video that I made. It will be uh, conspiracy theories, aliens, all of that stuff. Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Please tell me what you guys think of this class setup in the comment section below, and I want to know what your guys' best class setups are. Uh, and a lot of people didn't understand how I was going to do this series, and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do every gun, every primary weapon, I'm going to do a best class setup for it. Uh, that's the way I want to do this. Um, we'll see. We'll see how well that works out. But that's my plans as of right now. Look at this dude with that golden honey badger. Anyways, guys, uh, Twitter and Facebook links will be down in the description. Deuces. Fuck it, I'm on.